So this is a film that's got so many great stories in this. Um, I've gotten to talk with this group uh, a couple weeks ago, and it's just like every layer you kind of peel back, there's more and more and more, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, Al, because it says, so when I heard this, I actually couldn't believe the backstory on this. Give the folks kind of a, a sense of where you started on this in terms of like, because you are, you know, it's a fantastic film, which is rare enough for, frankly, for a first-time filmmaker. But you are one of the most unlikely filmmakers I've ever met, <laughs> given what your background is and how you came to it. So why don't you just kind of give people a little background about that? Uh, no worries. Um, I was actually a student of Clark's. Uh, I, I played drums in Clark's band. Um, in the, there's a scene in the film where we're in the small group with Justin, and, and that, that was our group with Clark. And... Um, I'd met Clark on a chance meeting and we became really good friends. Um, and uh, we developed a relationship over, over the years and I, I was actually um, surfing with a mate of mine who's here tonight from Australia, that, who's the DP. And I, I would point him out right now, it's Adam Hart, if you could just stand up. Um, yeah. Hey, um, yeah, we, we were surfing one day and we came up with the idea for the for the film and um, we paddled in and bought, saved up some money and went went um, to to America and started shooting. Um, and we initially started shooting just with Clark and learning how to make a documentary as we were going and um, just trying to study up and really work out how to how to do this and. Because we be became such good mates over the years, we just had that access um, to Clark where he let us in But everywhere. I think we should clarify here. It's like when you started shooting, you really didn't know what your story was. You didn't – I mean, it's like you, you knew there was Clark, and obviously he had a great story to tell. But in terms of, like, you know, how much did you know about – like say how deep his relationship went with Quincy Jones, how about how deep about his relationship with Justin? Where were you on all of that? Our first year, we had focused primarily on trying to get Clark's backstory, and whilst we were doing interviews with um, all of these greats, they kept mentioning that Clark is not only one of the greatest trumpet players of all time, but but one of the greatest mentors, and. We, it's something that's fleeting when you say it. When if you just say it, he's one of the greatest mentors. But we didn't have the visual to back it up. And and Justin just happened to be studying with Clark all the time. And when we we asked Justin if he'd let us follow him as well, so we could try and bring out this the mentoring side of Clark. And as soon as he agreed, um, and we started following both Clark and Justin, it just started to go crazy. We, like we we ended up having to really follow what was happening because things started to happen quickly. And um, because it was our, that's it, mine and Ad's first film, um, we, you know, we, we continually go broke. And um, <laughs> so the way we did it was that we'd shoot for three months and then uh, go broke and then we'd work for three months <laughs> um, doing odd jobs and... Um, shoot for three months, work for three months, and just and that's that's how we got through primarily most of the the shooting. 